There is an artistry and there is a sort of a mojo to making a string. It's not something that anybody can do. When we set out the goal to make a bright, vibrant, low tension string, we hit it. And that feels really good. We looked at string formulas to see what worked and then see what could work better. From the diameter of the core wire to the diameter of the wrap wire, the speed, the angle and tightness that you wrap them at, all of these things are used to develop feel, balance, and tension. We wanted to create something unique to the market, so we relied on artists' input. I want something that's not going to break, first and foremost, and I want it in something that stays in tune. But then there's, then there's the tone, and then there's the feel, you know? Because that's the magic of the whole thing, that you have to have the string set that feels kind of played in, but then it stays that way. We built this string factory from the ground up so that we could have complete control over every detail of the process. We built a climate controlled facility, both temperature controlled and humidity controlled, to store material and build our strings in. We took the most cutting edge string machines and then hot rodded them. This allowed us to create unique formulas that deliver a high performance string every single time we wind. When I switched to Dunlop strings, it was about five years ago or so, and I, I, I grabbed a couple packs, put them on, and immediately it was like, these things feel great. The tension feels right, the, the gauging, but you never know until you keep you know, buying them and, and changing strings, and so I did that, and the first thing that I noticed is they're really consistent. The first time I really started using the Dunlop strings is when I noticed that Things stopped breaking, things stopped sounding weird and corroded and old and rusty, like things that I've experienced in the past with other strings. Playing live is like a golf swing, you know? There are so many things that can go wrong, and when you put these strings into the mix, it kind of takes that aspect out of it. We pay extra special attention to the quality of our raw materials. So we can't allow anything that's inferior going into our product. Before the wire even sees a machine, it's inspected and tested. We test at the ball end level, we test at the winding level, we test at the packaging level. Our packaging incorporates three levels of moisture protection. We've done all of this to guarantee that each time you open up a set of Dunlop strings, it's as fresh as the day it was made. The strings are fantastic, you know, um, they're, they're real durable, and they sound good, they last forever. It's, it's a really solid uh, manufactured string and it holds its tune and um, I know that it's a conscious decision to, to wrap them, hermetically seal them up so that the, the consumer gets them fresh right from the manufacturer. It's very important actually. You know, when Jimmy, when Jimmy asked me about, uh, you know, Father Dunlop or whatever about, like Zach, I'm going to start doing a string company and everything like that, he, I said, well, Jim, he said, you know, got to make sure they're slamming. I said, I can't just play them. So, uh, he sent me a couple different sets of strings. I said, Jim, these are the ones, these are kick ass. So I use all of them. I use the, the acoustics, the classical strings, and the electric strings. I use them all. They all sound killer. And they take a beating, and I don't go around breaking strings. The Dunlop way is to give musicians both what they want and what they need so that we can help them create the music that they live to make. We can't control where the music goes. We can't control where the music's going to take us all. It's the artists and fulfilling their needs. That gives us all the direction we're going to go. It's not going to be my products that are going to hold them back, and we're going to supply them with whatever they need so they can reach their potential.